Oh hey! Riddles aren't just a fun way to spend time, they also sharpen your mind, help you think outside the box, improve your memory, and start new thought processes. Wow! Ready to reap the benefits of this unusual brain workout? Then go ahead and remember to count the correct answers. David got lost in a jungle. After wandering for hours, at lunchtime, he came to a place where the path split into three smaller trails. The first led to an active volcano with red-hot lava bubbling in its crater. If David chose the second path, he would get to a clearing swarming with venomous bats. And the third path ended in a swamp swallowing everything and everybody that got there. Where should he go? David should choose the second path. Most bats are only active at night, plus they almost never attack humans. Sarah and her sister Mary are doing some shopping. When they're leaving a grocery store, Sarah points at some young man and exclaims, Look, my nephew is over there! Her sister replies, Oh right, but it's not my nephew. How is it possible? The young man is Mary's son. You're stranded on a tiny, uninhabited island. You have no radio, cell phone, or any other means of communication. The island also has no trees to make a smoke signal. On the second day there, you notice a helicopter circling in the sky and searching for you. It's flying too high for the pilots to spot you. How can you attract their attention? Pick up some stones and use them to write SOS on the sand. Mila parked her car near her house, came in, and returned in 5 minutes, carrying a bucket of water. Then she poured this water on the sidewalk and ran inside again. Why did she do all this? The woman wanted to wash her car. But while she was getting the water, the car was stolen. Why can't a successful businessman open the door in his pajamas? Because pajamas have no doors. The son of the dentist's father is talking to the father of the dentist's son, and the dentist isn't taking part in the discussion. Can you figure out these family ties? The dentist is a woman, and the people who are talking are her husband and her brother. A man is driving along a highway in his car. After several hours on the road, he grows tired. It's also getting dark. He notices a motel sign. When the driver reaches the place, he sees three buildings, with a wooden door, with a silver door, and with a gold one. Which door should he open? His car door, of course. You get into a trap prepared by a mad professor. He's conducting an experiment and wants you to dive into one of the four tanks filled with water. But the first one is packed with venomous snakes. The second contains acid that can eat even through metal. The water in the third one is swarming with bacteria. Piranhas are swimming in the fourth tank. Which tank should you choose to survive? Pick the third tank, it's the safest of them all. Not all bacteria are bad, lots of them are actually useful. A small, family-run cafe in Paris was called Ten Flags. 
but near the entrance, there were just eight flags. The owner could easily hang two more flags, but he refused to do it. Why? People often noticed this mistake and came into the restaurant to inform the owner. After that, they usually stayed to have a meal. John called the police to report his friend Mark had disappeared. He explained that two weeks before, he had offered Mark to live in his beach house in Miami. He wanted his friend to enjoy some summer heat. But when John returned from a half a month long business trip to Chile, he found out Mark was missing. The police listened to John's story and understood the man was lying. How did they figure it out? If it was summer in Miami, it was winter in Chile. And still, John came back suntan. It means he hadn't been to Chile. Maya was in the gym doing the workout her personal trainer had prepared for her. It was tougher and longer than her usual ones. Exhausted, Maya returned to the changing room, only to find her expensive bag gone. She immediately called the police. They had three suspects. Maya's trainer explained he had been preparing a new program for his clients. Emma, another gym goer, said she had been running on a treadmill for two hours. The cleaner said he had been washing the swimming pool. Who took Maya's bag? It was her personal trainer. He knew Maya was going to have a long workout and wouldn't return to the changing room anytime soon. A small bridge is the only way to cross a river. This bridge can only hold two tons at once. That's exactly how much your car weighs. You start to cross the bridge and reach its middle when a bird lands on the vehicle. Is the bridge going to collapse now? Nah, it won't break. You've already used some gas to get to the middle of the bridge. Your car weighs a bit less than 2 tons now. You're sitting on a plane. There is a horse in front of you and a car behind you. What's happening? Well, you're on a merry-go-round. A man was going on a three-day-long fishing trip. He asked his wife to pack some stuff for him. A fishing box, a fishing rod, his favorite pajamas, and some other clothes. Three days later, the man returned home and started to tell his wife funny stories that had happened during the trip. Then the man complained, I just don't understand why you didn't pack my pajamas as I asked you to. That's when the woman realized her husband was lying to her about the whole thing. How did she figure it out? The wife put the pajamas inside the fishing box. If the man didn't find it, he didn't open the box. A taxi driver is moving in the wrong direction along a one-way road. A police officer notices him doing it but does nothing to stop him. Why? The taxi driver is walking. Ice will melt if you heat it. But if you heat me, I'll become solid. What am I? I'm an egg. You buy this thing to eat, but you never eat it. What is it? It's a plate. 
Mia was going back home one evening. It was 11 p.m., and she had to cross a small dark park in front of her house. Suddenly, she heard footsteps behind. Someone grabbed her bag and ran away. The girl called the police, and they questioned four suspects. Jack said, I was choosing an outfit for a party. Camilla was getting ready for her final exam at home. Andrew told the police he had been watching birds in the park. Nora was at her yoga class. After the interview, the police understood who was behind the accident. Can you? It was Andrew. At 11 p.m., it's too dark to see birds. James left a folder with important documents on the table in his home office and went to a business meeting. When he returned, he found out that the documents had disappeared. James had three suspects. His brother said, I've been swimming in the pool since you left. I haven't seen or heard anything. The cook replied, Tomorrow we're having a party. I've been preparing the food. The security guard told James, I've been outside all this time, checking the garden for mice. Who knows where the documents are? It's the security guard. His job description doesn't include pest control. An accident happened at a busy crossroads in a small town. The driver who caused the crash left in a hurry. Luckily, several witnesses managed to describe the car. The police officer headed to the suspect's house. There, he saw a car that looked exactly like the one from the description. But its owner claimed he had spent all day at home. The police officer understood the suspect was lying in no time. How? He touched the car hood. It was still hot from the engine that had worked not so long ago. Ben and his wife Sophia decided to go to the mountains. Ben got round-trip tickets, and the couple set off on a journey. On the third day there, Ben and Sophia were walking along a challenging trail high above the ground. They started to argue, and Sophia accidentally lost her footing and fell off the cliff. Ben had nothing to do but to return home on his own. As soon as he arrived, he called the police to report the accident. After that, he was arrested. Why? All accidents have to be reported immediately to the local police. And Ben wasted a lot of time to get back home and only then informed the authorities. You're walking along a railroad track. Suddenly, you see a speedy train dashing in your direction. Instead of getting off the track, you run towards the train. Only at the last minute, you manage to jump aside. Why do you risk your life this way? When you notice the train, you're on a bridge. You can't leave the track right away and have to run to the closest place where you can do it. It took five years to build the tallest tower in the world. Every next year, the constructors doubled its height. How many years did it take for the tower to get half as tall as it is now? Four years. If the builders doubled the height every year, the tower had to be half its final height a year before it was completed. Once Daniel found a coin that had a 10 BCE mark on it. The guy realized the thing had to be very old and valuable. Happy and excited, he took it to an expert. But the specialist didn't even agree to examine the coin. He told Daniel right away the thing was fake. How did he figure it out so fast? (music) 
people who lived before the current era couldn't know there would be another era. That's why they couldn't make such marks on coins. James had a meeting with his university professor. It ran late, and when the guy was leaving the building, it was already dark. As he was walking along the deserted halls, he heard someone shout for help. The voice was coming from behind a locked lecture hall door. James managed to open it and found his groupmate, Mike, inside. In the afternoon, the guy wanted to get a book from the library, but it was closed. He was already leaving when he heard footsteps behind his back. When he came round, he was locked in. James figured out three suspects and interrogated them first thing in the morning. Matthew said he had left the campus right after the lectures. Emily replied she had been studying at the library all day long. Olivia met with her friends, and they were having lunch at the university canteen. James realized who was guilty right away. It was Emily. She couldn't study at the library because it was closed that day. You have two buckets of water. In the first bucket, the water is heated up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. In the second bucket, the water is cooled down to minus 100 degrees. You drop two coins into the buckets at the same time. Which coin will reach the bottom faster? It'll be the coin you threw into the warm water. The other won't sink at all. The water in the bucket is frozen. A man shaves every single day, but still has a thick, long beard. How come? The man is a barber. You need to draw just one line to turn the Roman numeral IX into 6. You aren't allowed to take your pen off the paper until the line is finished. How do you do it? Draw the letter S in front of IX. You'll get 6. You see someone you've never met before. No one has ever described this person to you. It isn't a celebrity, and still, even though there's nothing unusual about the stranger, you immediately know who it is. How? It's your acquaintance's twin. Maria won the lottery and returned home with a hefty sum of money. But her sister called her and asked for help, so the girl had to rush out. Before leaving, she put the money under the carpet in her bedroom. When she came back, the money wasn't there. There were three people in her apartment while she was away. An electrician came to fix her AC. A neighbor visited to pick up some books. And Maria's housekeeper was cleaning the apartment. Who took the money? It was the housekeeper. She was the only person who had any reason to check under the carpet. It takes a marathon runner four hours to travel the race distance in his winter clothes, and 240 minutes if he's wearing his summer outfit. Why? Four hours is the same as 240 minutes. Four men make four tables in four hours. How many tables will eight men make in eight hours? The correct answer is 16 tables, because eight men will work twice longer than four men. You're trapped in a huge, deserted mansion far away from civilization. The windows are either boarded up or too high above the ground. 
The only tree that grows close enough to touch is too thin to hold you. The entrance door is also securely locked. You see three doors. All of them lead to freedom. But behind the first door, there is a raging fire. The second door hides hundreds of venomous scorpions. And behind the third door, there is a dark maze filled with different traps. What should you do? Break off a tree branch and light it in the first room. Now you have a torch. Escape through the maze that isn't dark anymore. Lily is a hairdresser. Her preferences are quite weird. She'd rather give a haircut to two blondes than one brunette. Why? By doing two haircuts, she'll learn more. When will three adult men, one woman, two boys, and a dog remain dry under just one regular umbrella? When it doesn't rain. Two travelers were walking through the jungle when a huge tiger stepped onto their path. One of the men bent down and started to lace up his boots more tightly. His companion was surprised. Laced up boots won't help you outrun the tiger. What was his companion's reply? I don't need to outrun the tiger. I need to outrun you. A father tells his teenage daughter, You appeared very late at 3 a.m. It made us all worry a lot. I don't want this situation to repeat ever again. His daughter confidently replies, It will never happen again. How can she be so sure? The father's talking about his daughter's birth. You're locked in a room with three doors. You can safely walk through any of them. But the doorknobs are the real problem. The first one is under high voltage, and you won't survive touching the doorknob. The second is covered with dangerous poison. You can't get it on your skin. And the third doorknob is so hot, it'll make your hand burn. Which doorknob should you try? The second one. You can take off any piece of clothing and use it to open the door. One man who knew a lot about art paid a huge sum of money at an auction. He bought a painting no one else wanted to buy. The artist who created it wasn't famous, and his work cost almost nothing. The man knew about this fact, he was honest and didn't have any bad intentions. Then why did he buy the picture? The painting wasn't valuable, but its frame was a unique and expensive piece of art. Look at the picture and try to figure out the pattern. What is the correct answer? The answer is 13. The first number stands for egg whites, and the second for yolks. Well, I know you've been waiting for this part. If your result is 0 to 12 correct answers, it's not bad. But it could be better. Just watch more riddle videos and try to play logic games. If you have 13 to 22 cracked riddles, it's a good result. The only thing I have to say is practice makes perfect. Those who have 23 to 32 correct answers will soon get the online detective certificate. Just a bit more attention to details, and you'll be there. And if you've got 33 to 42 solved riddles under your belt, you'll get my respect and admiration. I bet such observation skills and logical thinking help you a lot in life.